All right, new Google Sites, there's a new feature that is pretty cool. Uh, it's not the most amazing thing ever, but it's a pretty cool feature. It is a change to how things are published. So when you go to publish a site, there's a drop down arrow in the top right next to the word publish. And you'll see that there is now a new option here, review and change, uh, review changes and publish. Now, this is just automatically on by default, this new setting. Um, so if I just push the publish button, I'll get review changes and publish. So what is that going to look like? If I click the publish button, it will show me everything that has happened to the website uh, since the last time it was published. And that'll be over here on the left. So uh, the home page was updated, the page content page was updated, and the accessible new Google Sites page was updated. Then I will see on the right hand side, the current website, and then on the left hand side, the changes that were made to the current website. Pretty cool. So if I scroll down, I can see um, that there were uh, changes made to the site. Um, and it's highlighted here. Uh, I say highlighted, but there's a little bit of green here, right? To kind of show this is a new change. Um, someone added, contact the webmaster if you need assistance. Uh, if I go to this next page, I could go down and see that that person added this again. I say that person because a different account than myself made these changes. And since I'm the only one with permission to publish, um, I get to see the changes that were made by other editors uh, before I publish them, which is pretty cool. If I go to update uh, accessible new Google Sites, it's going to load the previews. And you can see here, there's this little green outline here that shows that this was changed. So this is a newer video. Uh, things got changed up uh, a little bit. There you go. Uh, down here, same thing. So I thought that was pretty cool, especially if you have a Google site that you're working on a lot of updates uh, and you're kind of working on it a little bit here and a little bit there, and then you don't have time to, um, to just publish it right away and you come back to it a few days later, being able to look back and see the changes that you made could be very beneficial. And even more so if you had a group-based um, Google Sites, like a team of editors working on a site, or a classroom of students that was building a site together, and you were the only one with editing rights, you could, or sorry, publishing rights, you could go through and look at what the editors had done, uh, and then decide whether or not those changes were okay for publishing, or if you needed to go back in and change them. Um, so pretty cool feature, uh, just continues to add to some of the versatility and uh, team-based uh, work that uh, Google Sites can do.